to my channel. Look, we went to Walmart. Bye, world. I can't hold up a plastic bag. Smile, Jim. <laughs> I can't hold up a plastic bag because we threw them all out, but uh, sorry, we didn't. We recycled them. Um, so we're going to just use this to put the cold stuff back in. Everything's been unpacked and cleaned up, so now we can get started. I have to do my cold stuff fast because with this whole process, the cold stuff starts to like, it's sweaty. I need to go in the refrigerator. So you hold that to put cold stuff in if that's okay. Um, first thing I was 97% out of creamer. I have like one cup's worth of one coffee cup's worth of creamer left in there. So just in time, I picked up one of the sugar-free caramel macchiato. Um, let me tell you guys about, I bought it in a little bit. So, um, I'll tell you why I picked this up as opposed to just the regular, but I love this in coffee as well. It just like this. And then I like to mix it up with my sugar-free Italian sweet cream by coffee mate, my absolute ultimate all time favorite. I really like this in flavored coffees. Like sometimes you get coffees that are already pre-flavored, like their beans or the roasted. So I like that because it's just sweet cream, really. My sister Julie said there's a little bit of a taste of a flavor, but I don't notice one. It's definitely not like vanilla. -y. That was my elbow. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, your funny bone is not funny, right? Let me finish refrigerator and then we'll separate. I'll give you another bag for freezer mm -hmm. or you have another bag there or you pushed it all the way. Oh, I'll put, I'll, I'll, I'll get over here. That's okay, no, they can stay together getting cold. You can smile, you're happy. They had Jim's favorite devil's egg potato salad. It, they only sell it in the one pint. One pound. Yeah, 16 ounces. Yeah, the one pound package. They don't have a two pounder of it, um, but he loves this. Only a deli person who's been working in a deli for a, a long time would look at that and go, that's one pound. He's right, he's not wrong. And then the other thing I picked up is coleslaw. Now you have a little bit of coleslaw left over from two Aldi. Pounds. No. Yeah, it is. You're no. right. No, go ahead, what? I think it's three pounds. No, it's 30 ounces, so it's not even quite two okay. pounds. But anyway, so um, I like this coleslaw a little bit better. It's nowhere near deli, New York deli coleslaw, but it's closer. And it's nowhere near as full as I'd get it. <laughs> well, they do it in the, they do that in the factory. Yeah. Okay. Uh, more refrigerator stuff and then more freezer stuff, okay. This was the weirdest thing. So, and you do have turkey in there. I do, right? Oh, they substituted two. I get it now. Now it makes perfect sense. I ordered Jim a pound of your. It's it. It was under a naturally smoked black forest ham by Prima Della, which is the one he loves. Mm. And I ordered a pound, and they said that was substituted with Prima Della black forest ham, half pound. I didn't notice that it said two because it actually I don't think it did say two. Oh. But they went ahead and they substituted two of the pre-packed ones that they do like earlier in the day. Yeah. Um, this is Jim's favorite black forest ham, right? Primadella, his favorite for here. For, yeah. I mean, as opposed to going to Germany. It's not Boar's Head. Oh, that's true. I was going to say, as opposed <laughs> to going to Germany and getting it. Um, oh, that's you. I needed some more American cheese. I don't know. It's just, I've been, it, it makes me feel so much better. It's a, I know this can sound crazy, but it's a lot less processed than the singles. Um, because they don't have to put so much preservatives in it. Cause it doesn't last quite as long. But I love it. It's Land O'Lakes Yellow American. If I got White American, would you ever eat it? Or is it just a waste of money to... I'd probably eat White American. I don't know what it is about yellow cheese, but yellow cheeses don't always agree with my stomach. Okay. And I don't know if that's the diet or the processing or, or what it is. All right, well, next time I'll pick up White. I picked up White once before and you like never ate it. So I was like, I'm not gonna kill myself. Did I, ha did I have a uh, Swiss? I, 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 I couldn't tell you. Did you know if I had Swiss or Havarti, <laughs> that would be my first go-to. Anyway, right? Swiss Havarti, so yeah. I, I picked up three quarters of a pound this time. When I've been picking up a pound, by the time I get to that last quarter of a pound, it starts to get a little dry. So I was just like, let's not, we'll just jump ahead. And a pound of my favorite turkey. This is. This is Butter Bowls Thanksgiving Roasted Turkey Breast. And it's also a pound. But I actually just said to Jim, I'm not really sure why I bought this because I think I have a little turkey left over, right? you do too. Okay. I think I might even have a little bit of ham left over, but not that much. Yeah, because we're not gonna shop for two weeks or so. So yeah. that's why we stocked up some things that we already had. Um, That might be it for the... Yeah, the song. Need, oh no. You can put it all together, but if you want to keep it separate, how about we put this down and you can put all the freezer stuff on top of it? Sure. Actually, let's do this because this goes in that freezer. This goes in the refrigerator freezer. I picked up a bag of chopped spinach. I'm going to do spinach artichoke. Choke. <laughs> spinach artichoke? I never heard of an artichoke. 
Is that when Chuck and Art meet and they just stay together? <laughs> That's probably exactly what it is. Spinach artichoke stuffed chicken. You say it. Okay, I'm kidding. So I picked up the spinach. I have all the other ingredients. I was going to do it with fresh spinach, but then I ended up like eating that sauteed. All right, artichoke, anyway. you stay down in there. What'd you say? Man. Um, I picked up another Purdue Heartland, a uh, Harvest Land, excuse me, ground chicken. I told you before, it's only 50 cents more than the store brand. And this one says like no GMOs, no hormones and everything. So I'm, I'm, it's, since it's on the label and it's USDA approved, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. So, um, they didn't have our big four, four and a half pound or less. They didn't have any trade ground beef when I ordered it. Let's put it that way. So what they did have was the 93.7 organic grass fed beef, which is pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing stuff. Um, it is more expensive, but sometimes that is worth it. You know, like that little bit. I so, hear chili mac in the future. With this, you're going to put this in a preservative filled. You can use that for chili mac. This is like, I want to be a hamburger. You know, I just want to be a hamburger. <laughs> Pure unfettered, <laughs> un, un, unadulterated here. I'm gonna unadulterate your brain a sec. But what they did have was the tube ground beef in the 93.7. So usually we get a tray of 93.7. So you want double chili mac? <laughs> this one you can use for chili mac. <laughs> yeah. It's a one pound tube. I should have probably bought more, but I wanted to taste it first. I know Lisa gets her ground beef out of the tube from Walmart all the time and never has a problem with it. So yeah, I don't know, it's just packaged differently. So I wanted to just try it and make sure didn't have lots of little bits that you can't see. But when you get ground beef, you can only see the top anyway. So, who am I kidding? You don't know what's in the ground beef until you start chopping up That's while it. you're burning. Yeah. So. Um, I picked up another Hillshire Farms Polsk kielbasa or Polish kibasi. Um, kibasa. We, I, I kind of like found different recipes on Pinterest to use that giant head of cabbage. And I don't know, I really loved it. It was so good. It was kibasi with cabbage. It was so good, like sauteed cabbage. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be like a repeat recipe. So I picked up another one of those. Jimmy doesn't need an excuse for me to buy kibasi though, by yeah. the way. And then we picked up kibasi two. Kibasi and sauerkraut, kibasi and potatoes, kibasi and sauerkraut potatoes. See, they did such a good job. We picked up two pound, uh, two mm -hmm. 24 ounce packs of their great value hickory smoked bacon. It's just a repurchase. We have bacon, bacon, mommy's bacon. bacon. Let's yeah. get the bacon. Exactly. Okay, so now we get into the non-perishable items. Um, first oh, I guess I'm out of the scene. First we'll do, why don't you tell everybody? <laughs> no, it's just just because you share the whole with me. You're gonna, sh I put some stuff in front of you for you to share. You didn't put the important stuff in front I didn't, no, 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 that I just moved over because it was non-grocery. I'll give it to you though, go ahead. And that's yours. I, it's this, I'm trying to get the other one. Oh. And then that. I don't know why I want to talk about this because I'm for sure most of women watch this channel, but I've been having summer issues because it's getting a little too sweaty down below. So I needed a little extra help. Now you said summer issues. Did you mean summer issues or some issues? Summer, like oh I, yeah, okay. It, it's I was worse, I, it's sometimes worse. words don't come out right. right. That's what I was asking. No, it's worse in the summertime because yeah. it's warm and I get sweaty in places I don't want to talk about. <laughs> you know, also what happens is, is that because it's like cool in the morning, or you, you know, you try to dress in layers, you can't really like take your under layers well, off. Well, bag and factor with the the work the, pants. the work pants plus the underpants. <laughs> and, and they don't necessarily always keep the store as cool as humanly possible. The, well, see, the problem is, and I found out through the maintenance guy, the AC unit that cools off the kitchen area seems to be fine and dandy. It works fine and dandy. But the AC that's supposed to cool off the rest of the store where I work, um, it likes to basically say, screw it, I ain't working, period. And the maintenance guy said one of the reasons why that's happening is the thermostat control and monitor for the rest of the store is in the back room with all the electronic equipment and other pieces of equipment that run pumps and whatnot. And that room is always hot no matter what. 
But that doesn't make sense because then they would always it would always be running cold air conditioning. That's why it conks out because it's oh, constantly. Oh, it's why it conks out, not why it's uh, not. No, oh, it, I see. that's why it's always yeah, always basically breaking down and need. I got you. Did you itch? Did I touch you when it made you itch? I'm sorry. No, I I, I met you. Okay. Um. So yeah, so it's causing you to be more sweaty yeah. down below in your nether regions. So, what I've had to do the last well, I had to do it yesterday, especially because it was really warm yesterday. Was we have these small little personal fans as I call them. I had plugged one in and put it on the floor to blow straight up at me. <laughs> that was the one thing to keep me cool yesterday. Otherwise I'd be like, ah, ah. I did not know that. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is hysterical. Um, I'm gonna just, you wanna share that and why there's three boxes? I don't even know why. Okay, okay. So mom likes Tylenol PM. But they only had the 24 count. They were sold out of the big bottles. So to compensate, she bought three of them. So we have three of these 24 count Tylenol PM. Um, I always put the prices in the down in the, here. Somewhere down in the comment box. Right, right. Not in the comment box. Like right here on the screen. Uh. Did you just burp? <laughs> You're so fresh. Actually, <laughs> the prices are right here. And you guys are probably like, Jerry, the prices are right by you. It's the this it's the the subscribe button that's over there. But anyway, um, whenever I put the prices, it'll say each. That means for each bottle, okay? And let me move them down so they can do heart tissues and stuff. Do you want to just do me one, you one, you one, you one? You don't care. Okay. Max thanks. Okay. Um, this I actually ordered with an order, and it was in the pickup. Um, like you go inside to store pickup. Um, I. I think I mentioned this before that I like to chew sweet, well, it's not sweet because it's sugar free, but sweet fruity gums when I'm in the mood for something sweet. And sometimes that curbs it. Um, so I'm just about out of what I have. So, but when I saw that they had the Starburst strawberry online, they only had strawberry, they didn't have cherry, which is my favorite actually. I went ahead and I picked up the three pack. It was one of those things like I was ordering something and I, I don't know if you know Walmart's order not the grocery pickup like this is, but when you order something on walmart.com, you usually get free shipping over $35. So sometimes your order comes to $31.27. And then when they tack on the shipping, it comes to 40 something dollars. Well, if you fill your shopping cart with a couple of few dollars worth of stuff to make it to the 35, it actually ends up being cheaper than if you only ordered $31 worth of stuff plus shipping. So every once in a while you see some random item like that, like last time was with the sponges, it's just random. Like, if they'll pick it up, you could pick it up at the store. So, um, do you want me to keep going or do you yeah, want to go? Ahead. Oh. But you want to share your candy? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, it's just since I'm sitting here eyeballing and going, I want one. German's version of Twix. Oh, it's got a cookie under it? It's basically a Nutella little. Wait, what now? You yeah. didn't say all that. Yeah, it's. Wait, you're not opening it. Explain it to the people first. Oh, you're going to show them? Yeah. Oh, this is a demonstration. This is a demonstration portion. Oh, they're individually wrapped. Basically, they come individually wrapped, and they're broken in four little chunks. So you can basically be a, you know, oh, I just want a little piece. No, I end up eating the whole dang thing. So is it, good? I'm sorry. I, 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 have, I have questions. I'm not trying to interrupt This is them. the first time for her. I, when I first tried these about a month ago, I kind of went, <laughs> no, that's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. But they've got like little dark chocolate stripes on them. Um, I gotta hold it a little bit closer. Yeah, you can see it. So they can see it. But I mean, you, I can see it. When you break it open, it's got that little cookie inside. Oh. Go ahead, and try it. I know you're dying to. But it's basically a German version of the Twix, but instead of like caramel and whatnot, it Nutella. Okay, but hold on a second. You know I love Ferrari Rocher. No. This is actually the cookie that goes around the Ferrero Rocher. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But what's the inside? It's not. It's is it peanut Nutella. Butter? It's not though. It's white. It's like white cream chocolate. That's basically that was this? It is. That's basically what Nutella is. It's no, just. No, hazelnut chocolate. So you're saying this is white Respect. chocolate and hazelnut? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so that's But I got good. two. I got two of them. Each one has two little. Give that back. I know what you're trying to do. Rat. Here. 
No, you're okay. You're okay. You eat. I'm, I'm really should but have it. Walmart did a bad thing. Uh-oh. Is they have a display with a whole bunch of these in it. And as soon as I saw it, I went, mm, um, I should not have come <laughs> in the store by myself. So you also I went, had to get that. You also went looking for a half inch dowel. It's so hard to find the half inch dowel and they've been, it's not labeled correctly on the website. So I was like, can you just go in and check? Because it actually on the website, it says one inch by two inches. And then when you look at the description, it says half inch by 36 inches. So I wasn't sure if people were just not getting it, like the, the shoppers weren't finding it because the description was off. But, um, so I said, could you go in? He's like, they don't have any more. And then they picked us up and then he's like, do you want to see what else I got? I was like, uh, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad he showed me. We picked up two more cream chip beef because it's not cream chip beef. It's Hormel's, it's Hormel's dried beef that we use to make cream chip beef. Now Hormel, so Hormel is a little bit more salty than the, I mean, I'm sorry, this is Armor. The Armor is a little bit more salty than the Hormel used to be. So what I do is I actually fill this jar, I'll put the butter on to start to melt, fill this jar with hot water. Like li literally this is the steps because I don't soak it forever. Start, Butter, fill these with hot water, throw the flour on, make my roux, add, you know, when it browns, I add my milk, stir it so it starts to thicken down. By that time, I can take these out, start chopping them up, and just about then, my thick, you guys should, you wanna see me make it? Somebody said, like, I should just cook, like, just not make a cooking video, but just feel, like, have you film me cooking, like a regular dinner. I've had a couple of people say the same thing, that. Um, I should be doing more cook with me shows That's and more Bible study shows. And oh, okay, gotcha. Instead of being the usual Just rants. Just <clears throat> Go ahead, you want to go next? I, I did cream chip beef. I know. know. Oh. <laughs> I'm just sitting there going. Okay, no, uh -huh. I can go. I can go. Um, I, I needed red sauce, and without being able to shop and look at the labels, I, you can see the nutrition label on the website. So what I did was I actually typed in low sugar spaghetti sauce. Yeah, right. Specifically. Right. And I couldn't believe that these have the lowest amounts of sugar so far, but they are. These are, this is Bertoli. the Bertoli Organic Olive Oil, Basil, and Garlic, which that sounds amazing. That sounds like homemade. It does look like homemade sauce, which is kind of wild. I have to see how long it's shelf stable though. I love the jar. That jar is definitely going to be something in my home. Um, Oops, it broke. No. This one only has. Does this one have seven grams? I feel like that one's the one. Need, do I need to go get glasses? Glasses would have been. Uh, it's okay. Um, you guys saw it, right? And then they had this one was the other choice, which was Barilla's marinara. One of them has six. One of them has six grams. One of them has seven or five or six. I don't remember which one they picked because I looked at a lot. Um, but this is just regular marinara. You know, it shows onion and garlic and basil, but it just says marinara, okay? And I've just been, you guys know I create, not created, I hardly created flatbread pizza. <laughs> I took the two low carb tortillas and I made like a stuffed crust tortilla pizza. It went together so quickly. If I keep the shredded cheese in the house, it's something that I can make in less minute. I just want to be able to keep red sauce in the jar in the refrigerator. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We had our last straw that we opened that's in the refrigerator right now. So that was like I had to get more for the closet, sort of. Um, go ahead. Do you want to go? I'm going to find closet space for some, some Well, items. there's no red sauce. There's just spaces for jar sauce because the jar sauce is empty. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I just don't remember if they were in from if they were behind the baskets or in the baskets. In the baskets. Okay. There's one jar of, like, white sauce in there now. Oh, okay, stuff. okay, okay. Um... Um, I got, I had gotten myself another package of zebra cakes. Last time I got zebra cakes, I got two packages, but I'm limiting my intake of snack cakes and stuff like that. Um, I will have a snack cake like on my days off, but the days that I work for the most part, when I get home, I'm more hungry for food than junk. So I haven't been eating as many of these as I used to. So instead of buying two boxes, we just got one. So my big concern, and I can I talk about this on yeah. camera? So my big concern is not that you're having them 
during the day. My big concern is when you have them for first thing that put you put in yeah, front of your body. Yeah, too much carbs. You know, whatever you break your fast with is always what starts your day with yeah. your metabolism. Yeah. So, um, like this well, morning, you wanted a cereal bar and a Mountain Dew, and I was like, well, that's just double carbs, whatever. Let's get some protein in you or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I know I, I eat junk too, so like I'm not trying, but I, I mentioned this in a vlog recently. It really is about balance, and it really is about when you eat what you eat also to start to trigger your metabolism to be fat burning or sugar burning or like your hunger hormones like all yeah. the things you know um so i'm sorry if i've like no 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 i just care about my husband and i want him to live a long time <laughs> people like you want him to live so he could take care of you no i want him to live because i love him and i want him to live we have a lot of life left to live us um do you want to share these and i'll just hand them yeah, to you sure. okay we got two of each so Actually, there's three of these and one of those, so. Three of what? The wild berries. Because you said you had Oh, a... yeah. That's right. I'm sorry. I don't think I have any more water left. I think the only water that's left is maybe one Asiago and those oranges that you got. Okay. Asiago's cheese, though. Or not Asiago. <laughs> Asiago. What are the weird grape berry type things? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, acai. Yeah, acai so that's right. Acai. I just thought it was great. I just have grapes stuck in my head. You didn't show it or hold it. You oh, <laughs> you handed it to me. I said, do you want to show this? That's what I said. Oh, I thought oh. I was telling you we got three of those and one of those. Are you hauling them? Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's why I was confused. I got, it's okay. I got Jim his favorite water. This is the Wild Berry Splash. Um, I got three six-packs of this. I don't know why. I thought I got two and two. I think I put a wild berry over there. Mm. So I only brought one over to the table um, just to make room on the table. So I picked up, I think we picked up three wild berry here. You grab that and I'll get the other one. And one grape acai or acai grape. Um, both of these he absolutely loves. And this is just, I can get water in him. I can get water in him. That's all I care about. Um, I would prefer it if it was just water, but I. Fight your battles. Mm-hmm. Caffeine is a natural... Well, I'll use... Caffeine dehydrates you. So, yeah. I try to get you to drink water that doesn't have caffeine in it. Like, you know, tea is good, but tea has caffeine in it, and it just dehydrates you more. So, it's like your body is not, only not, not getting the water. What? Not enough. Well, you'd be surprised how many of your joint issues could be because you're dehydrated. Well, your stomach it? issues could be because you're dehydrated, you know? I think there's like a... <laughs> Not according to my nether regions. Let me, let me tell you, I think there's a statistic that's like really high. Like 75% of Americans are dehydrated oh, or underhydrated. Okay. Um, you go. Oh, you're going to drink. I'll take a drink too. Take a drink, babe. Uh, Why don't you do this so we can get it out of the way over there? This is yours. Oh, okay. That's fine. No, it's not. He that, said it's fine. You heard it. You heard it on camera. You, I have a testify. Go. Go, go, <laughs> go eat all that creamy that's sitting in the closet. It's about time. I like creamy. It's okay. That's why I got you this. Oh, stop. You like creamy, too. You just don't prefer it. Unless it's honey. Right. Exactly. Low sodium, natural, gif, crunchy peanut butter. Gotta have my crunchies. A couple of weeks ago, we went the first initial quarantine shopping. There was one jar of peanut butter left over, and it was natural. One jar of natural peanut butter left over, and it was crunchy. And then we came home and battled about it. <laughs> but again, if I can get less sugar in your body, any way I can get less sugar in your body, it's about balance. You want to continue to have your Mountain Dew, your tea with honey. Let's cut out where we can. That's, that's yeah, mine. You, you can cut out on the peanut butter. I'll just overload it with my <laughs> apple jelly, and then that will balance it out. Well. Before, you were having really high sugar peanut butter and apple jelly. Okay. So if you can cut the sugar out wherever you can, that's that's what I'm saying. It's not about cutting oh, out all man. the sugar. But Talk about nostalgia. Uh-oh. You're not going to cry, are you? I hope not. Goober and strawberry? No. Mm -mm. Honey? Honey and peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, who used to make those for you? My dad. Aww. On toast. Oh, I guess that's what you're having later. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh my baby. Well, we had we had this plastic bear that had that little like 
nozzle at the top. Yeah. And he would like take toast, put a layer of crunchy peanut butter on it, and then just take that that bear and give his turn on and just do this back and forth twice. Perfect sandwich. Perfect honey nut sandwich. Can I wipe your face? Yeah. Do you need a tissue? Can you hang chip? No, I don't. Can you reach him? Paper towel? Yeah, yeah, Your sleeve was working, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah. I gotta change the shirt anyhow. I don't know how I got crusties around the sleeve. I see it. Yeah. I see it. Could be from the morning, your eyes, and like you just did. Probably. Who knows? See, when, that... you're, when you're dehydrated and you wipe your tears, it dries up and looks like salt. That has nothing to do with high dehydration, you goober. How much salt comes out of your body with the water? Yeah. So if you're, imagine like if your sodium level is here and your water level is here and they come out in tears, like that's why your tears are salty. So you'll get like, I'm, I'm just giving rough numbers. This is not an actual, this is just to help Jim understand. No, I, I think so I know what you're talking about. So it'll come out that, evenly. Yeah. But when your water's down here and your salt is up here, it's going to be salt heavy laden. Mm, that's what I'm saying. True. So, Okay. I can go? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, so I mentioned at the last Aldi Instacart haul that I got flounder fillets and I immediately said that I wanted to do it like my dad did it. So here we only eat plain mm -hmm. breadcrumbs. You can't do it the way you did it. I know, just let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can't, don't, don't make it's me cry. Fresh. Don't make it's me fresh. cry, don't make me, stop it. So <laughs> one of the things I said, I said to my sister, I actually said, I, I feel like I have to get not only Italian breadcrumbs, but like progresso Italian breadcrumbs. If my sense memory is for like that perfect sandwich with all the perfect ingredients, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to emulate that the best that I can. So I just said, if I start there, I can say, well, maybe it's the fish. You know, like if you don't do all the right ingredients, you can say, oh, maybe it's it's not right because maybe it's the fish or maybe it's the breadcrumbs or maybe I didn't do this or maybe I did it. So if you start with all the rest of the perfect ingredients, you can really just balance out and taste the fish. So spent the extra 25 cents. It's 25 cents more than the store brand, but I went ahead and I got some Italian style progressive breadcrumbs. But and my brothers and sisters watching will probably be like, yep, that's right. But you gotta realize, you have to use his pot. I said, I'm gonna get the cast iron skillet <laughs> out and everything. Did you hear me say that the other day? No, I oh didn't. yeah. Got to get his skillet, the right amount of oil, the right amount of breadcrumb to egg mixture. Now, the breadcrumb to egg mixture, and I will tell you the God's honest truth, for the last 15, 20 years that he fished and made fried filet flounders, that was our job. Our job was to be... So, you know the... the, the oh, yeah. My job was to flour and egg it and breadcrumb it. That was actually my job. So, he used to take all of the fish. Of course, it was fresh and thawed. Um, he used to take it and Fog. put it... He never had to freeze it. Oh, yeah. He used to fish so much that he used to have to oh, freeze it. That must have been before I came around. Yes, it was. Because <laughs> all I remember him was coming home with... Well, because when, cause, cause when he... Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. He, 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 would, he would come home with a fresh caught fish. Right. Skin it, fillet it, debone it the whole nine yards. And then he'd cook it right right, right after that. He'd right. just like start... So when I, when, when I met you... Oh, when you when you moved to New York, New York, yeah. right? Um, my sisters had really just moved out. Janie was in New Jersey already. Alicia had just well, lived her life, and they like had their own homes and stuff. But what he would do when he used to fish in abundance when they were adults, he would yeah. give them extra fish. Oh, okay. Then a couple of years after that, he started working and selling it. Remember? Oh, right, right, right. So right. he would then come home with extra. He would just come home with the fresh catch because he used to fish. Five times a week, so. Yeah, tell me about it. Four yeah. thirty, four thirty in the morning. I'm half awake, half asleep. Clunk. Oh, his oh, truck. He's going fishing. <laughs> his old suburban. Oh, uh, the first time he did that, I was like, "What is this old man doing at four thirty in the morning in this noisy truck, and being gone all day?" And by the time he would come home, I'd be off of work, and I'd come home and go. Yep. Why does it have to smell like fish and fry? Well, I was just gonna say, it didn't really have a smell fishy. Not really fishy, but yeah, there was the like fresh that, salt seawater, right? That's, yeah. yeah, that ocean scent. The I only time the, the only time the house ever smelled fishy was like right before laundry day for my dad because then he'd had like his, oh, his, his fish clothes 
because he was the guy like on the I this is gonna have to cut this out of the video because it's gonna be two hours Blue long. <laughs> um story time. Um he was the the filet. Like he and my dad could fillet like nobody's business. Like he worked in a well, he worked in a restaurant. So I take that back. But it's like he worked at the at the fish market the way he did it. So when on the boat, every he would fillet everybody's catch. He'd throw him like five bucks or buy him a cup of coffee or whatever, like, you know, to compensate. But he was a very generous guy. And he really preferred not to just be bored. So he would, on the boat ride back, he would just be like, chop, 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 chop. So anyway, what he did was take a brown paper bag, when brown paper bags were plentiful, and he would fill it with flour and the fish and just shake it really up so that all the fish was coated. And then he would sit me down with his, it's just beaten egg with little water just to, you know, help break it up a little bit. And then just breadcrumbs. He didn't do anything to the breadcrumbs. This Italian breadcrumbs yeah. just in the bowl. I would take the can over myself actually and do this. Um, he didn't doctor it up at all. And then that's it. We didn't double flour or anything. It was just like from the bag to the egg to the breadcrumb to the plate and then to the fry. So we're gonna try it that way. This way we can get. So the only thing that's gonna be missing is I really can't have potato bread. Because the best sandwiches were mm. on Martin's, they don't even sell Martin's potato bread here. So at least mm -hmm. there's that. Mm -hmm. you, Martin's potato bread toast. Fish. <laughs> fish flavor. Flounder flavor. On the, on the bread with a little bit of tartar sauce and a piece of lettuce. Oh, no, coleslaw. Oh, that's right. Coleslaw. It's coleslaw. coleslaw. So you do, like, you do like the toast, the fish, the coleslaw, and then the tartar oh. sauce. I'm yeah. hungry. Let's get the flounder out. So we can now because we have this. Okay. Um, you go. I guess I just took up two years. <laughs> no, yeah, I started it. I know. Um, I'm running low. Well, actually, I've got probably maybe enough to fill my bottle one more time. One more time. But we got another thing of honey because, well, that's basically instead of sugar, I use this for my tea. How do you? Healthier. How do you like your honey dispenser? I actually like that. I mean, it's very good because I can basically put the flap down to close it off so it's not getting like you feel air like in there. Showing everybody? Sure. I mean like, you know, part of a demonstration. Well, I'll do know. something. I'll do something while you're doing. Oh, I know what I can do. You didn't have your tea yet, so you technically could make yeah, your tea. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Um, I'll just do more while he's out up showing you that. Um, I don't know how I'm going to show him that without bringing it over there. You are going to bring it over here. Oh, okay. Bring your cup and your honey, and then you can just fill it here and then make your tea over there. Um, I picked up the family size drawer of Nutella because Nutella. That's the only reason. Um, <laughs> Jimmy loves it on just toast. Toast or bread? Do you have a preference? Um, bread. I don't like the Nutella on hot products. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. And I, was, I, thought, I thought it was a crunchy, a crunch issue. Like I didn't even no, it's think more about the, the, fact the that heat hot. factor. Okay. So Jimmy likes it on bread. I like it. I like to dip fruit in it or dip pretzels in it. This way I can control. Scale it up with your pretzels and fruit. And no, I put it in a cup. I, this way I can control how much um, I have. So I put a little bit in a cup and I bring that to the place where I'm going to eat. Because if I bring the jaw to the place where I'm eat, mm -mm, <laughs> it's all over. So go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah. This is the dispenser we were just talking about. It looks just like a regular plastic tube with a black cap. It it's, has oh, it has a little flap that you can push up and then just... It won't come out unless you squeeze it, right? Right. Well, it yeah, it does not come out. I mean, honey doesn't. I don't know what no. other stuff would be in there. But I got these from Tupperware. They're... Hold on. Yeah. Can you hold that? Yeah, of so course. Here. Just, ah! I almost squeezed it all over the... So I got them two, uh, they're a two pack and I think they're, I don't remember what they're called, liquid dispensers. That's hardly enough. You hardly I know. Enough. Oh, okay. I was like, I, 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 when I sometimes make it for him, I'm like, but they just dispense just enough mm. for each squirt, right? Yeah. You think you could do your toast with that or do I have to go get you a beer? You know, I think there's probably do the toast with this because okay. the fact that it don't come out until I start squeezing. So Yeah. Okay. Woohoo. Um, you want to leave that and finish and then go back and make your tea or you just want to start it up? You can start it up. Yeah, I'm fine. And just, as long as I don't have your cake up in there, get nasty I put the garbage tea. jar down there now. So that's what we're, the garbage jar. jar. 
Oh, well, you got the lid on there. That's why I wouldn't have it's, noticed it. It's got a cork. It says trash on the top, but you can't see it because it's kind of faded. Yeah. I have to take the pen to it. But the top has a cork, so it lifts on and off. You don't have to twist it. Sweet. Now we can just put it up here on top someplace where I don't have to. Well, when the coffee bar moves, I'm thinking about putting it on the counter. Okay. But for right now, it's... No, I, that's a great idea. Yeah. Thanks. Oi. Thank Oi. you. That was sweet. What you want to go? I'm good. I, I told you. You don't have to worry. I don't got... Oh. You got all these three things still. Well, I mean, you're doing them now. Oh. Yeah. I only have I three know. things myself, so... I don't know. Um, it's that time. It's. That's right. You had it. It's that time. I'm down to right now. I've got like after this morning little um, can. I've got three left in the old one. This has actually been lasting me a, two weeks. A week to two weeks. Yeah. It's really been two weeks. Last week you just had extra because. We were doing a lot more last week than we yeah, are Yeah, we were doing a lot of construction last week, and it was like he was getting more tired, so he was using that extra sugar and caffeine to get him through the day. Um, do you want me to take it? I have garbage. Um, yeah, I think I'll drop it I don't want to. Just... You're okay. So we picked up Mom um, five. That's what they'll only let us get right now. Yeah, five. Five at a time. Five one-liter Cokes. If you've been around for a while, you know my mother-in-law drinks these. Um, she used to drink 24 ounce bottles. They stopped selling that size, so now she drinks it out of the one liter. Um, they went up in price. They used to just be a dollar. Now they're a dollar eight or a dollar nine. Oh, well, a lot of things. You can leave it. I was just saying. Oh, it. yeah, that's okay. Say what you're saying. A lot. I've noticed that a lot of prices have gone up uh, recently. Um, even in, even in my store, mm -hmm. um, the medium size uh, fountain soda drink used to be 113. That included tax. Now it's up to 124. I feel like it's supply and demand, but it's also like it's a combination people of people not working and the yeah. So supply and demand, and that that factor, I think a lot of companies are are boosting their prices to compensate for their right. losses during this whole right right epidemic. So go ahead, you get two more things. Pandemic. I got two more things. Um, mom needed some more of her preferred Kleenex, which is the I love it. With preferred Kleenex. Yeah. Well, she doesn't like anything else. No. I don't know what it is. You, you call them Kleenex instead of tissues. Kleenex is a brand. So I'm oh. just laughing. Preferred Kleenex is puffs. <laughs> it's funny. Oops. He always has to go to someplace um, violent. It, it just that's the way. It's because you're being a smart ass. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we got mom. She wanted two of the three packs, but somehow we only got one of the three packs. I'm gonna have to look when we're done. Yeah. When we're done recording. So I don't know if that's a um, clerical error on our part or a supply and demand issue on Walmart's part. Yeah, it could be. Um, so she normally gets, if you've been here for a while, you know, repurchase. She normally gets a one six pack. So I was getting her two three packs, and it went in the shopping cart fine. But I don't know if they're maybe they did limit and they didn't. I just have to look to see if I was charged for it. Because if I was charged for it and I didn't get it, that's where the problem lies. Otherwise, I don't care about getting it twice as you know yeah. it was often or whatever that doesn't bother me um i picked up some of my flavored water jim still has some of his left he hasn't been drinking it as much but i'm like you know these it's... particular flavored waters i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because it's seltzer or if it's got a carbonation factor that sometimes causes other issues well yeah of course carb it's going to give you gas like he jim jim avoids the things that want him to give him gas but those are the things that are like good for him Sometimes that's what happens. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's what happens. But anyhow. You, do I want to clear out, out my was, store at one, in yes, one shot? Yes, you do. Actually, normally, yeah. Um, mm. But I want, I put, I, I encourage you these to replace your Mountain Dew intake when you want soda. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, so this is black cherry. I only got one black cherry, but I found, oh. Oops. Where's the other one? I, it was supposed to be white grape. Is a white grape in there? The other two? Um, Did I get one key lime, one black cherry? It's in the um, Walmart. Yeah, that on the left. Key lime? Key lime. Okay. You can put that back. I'll just add it. 
Okay, so apparently I didn't. I got one black cherry and I got three key limes, which I thought was supposed to be white grape. I don't know if they picked them wrong off the shelves or I picked them wrong in the shopping cart, but I will let you know. I usually write it down, my boo-boos. Um, so, but that's, that's okay. Key lime's delicious. I'll drink it, so I don't have a problem with that. It's a little, like, sprite -y. Pie. What? As a pie. No, it kind of has, like, a little sprite flavor. Like, oh, a little, oh, like, sprite, so that's good. Oh. And your last thing and then my last thing? Does that sound good? Um, my last thing ain't even for mom. It's for the cat. <laughs> Must be that time where we need to get another thing with cat litter. It's a major repurchase. It's 14 pounds of special kitty. Fragrance free, right? That's oh, goody. Good. I don't have to go out and buy is a weight looking so It is over control fragrance free. Okay, good. They gave us the right one. Yeah, because if they didn't give us the it right one. It does have dust. I'm sorry. So, I, I, I you know, with um, mom's allergies, you have to, like, balance out, like, is the fragrance worse than the dust or the dust? So she said the dust is just one time when she fills it and then the dust settles. But the fragrance is there all the time. So she chooses to have them. Yeah, because the fragrance is basically, it's their little pellets that when the cat goes and scratch at it, it releases that smell, which yeah. would drive her bonkers. Yeah, so it's like, it's like the lesser of two evils when it comes to that, oh, right? Wait a minute. If somebody's already bonkers, can you drive them bonkers? You drive them further off the bonkers deep end. And this was a surprise. Let me let me show first. This was a surprise to us. <laughs> so you know, I am a cheese doodle lover. I am like a wise cheese doodle lover. We also like pirate booty, which is white cheddar corn puffs. Now, cheese doodles to me are just like on a different thing, and then the pirate booty was on a different thing because we we'll like both because they're different items. But we got this on accident for mom last time. Mm -hmm. It didn't last a day. It didn't last a sitting. We ate it, the two of us ate a whole bag in one sitting as like we were watching a movie. Right? I mean, I I don't even know how that happened. So there's so... <laughs> my precious, my precious. They're like soft corn puffs. You know what I mean? So it's not like sometimes cheese doodles or cheese curls or what's... Jacks, what's the one that Chester Cheetos, Cheetos. Oh, okay. Sometimes the, the puffy Cheetos, Cheetos, they can almost cause like your mouth to get sore from like their texture. But these are just like so soft and melty, almost like, I don't know how to describe it. But they are carb, but they are corn. So that's good for me, but they are carb. So you shouldn't really eat a whole bag in one sitting, but. It shouldn't. But it's a lot less calories and stuff than popcorn is always here. I'm just saying, you know, you have to justify it. All I can say is... I should have bought two bags. Should have bought four bags. Huh? And whoever invented these came straight out of the kitchens of hell because this is sinful. Coronavirus. <laughs> 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 Free. <laughs> so that's everything. <laughs> You out. <laughs> you out. Get out here. Uh, anyway, hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. I can't help it. It's true. Get off my shirt. Get, get. It's going in the wash. Yeah, true. That's what you said. Okay. There's just something wrong with me today. There's just something it's not wrong. Not just you. It's not just you. Uh, you're not alone. <laughs> you're not alone. I have something wrong with me too. Get them out of here before I eat them all. Oh God. <laughs> Stop! I'm trying to be serious. Ready? Serious. Serious. Ready? What the Ready? heck? Why do you do like this? Go serious. Serious. I can't. I can't. There's no serious to me today. Oh man. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. You don't have to be serious, but when you can hold it together, let me know when you say goodbye. <laughs> just making it worse. I can't. I just can't. Oh, boy. Yeah, I love you. I, I, I think I need to go to Bellevue and borrow the entire room that I'm paying so much for. <laughs> it's 
that you paid so much for. You don't pay, you don't pay taxes in New York anymore, so you're all set. Okay. You good? No. <laughs> No, I'm nowhere near being good. How about now? No. Actually, you know what? I do it's have to. It's in the two. brain already. Oh. Uh. Ah. Is that blue? You're not sniffing the blue. No, it's in my blue in my lips. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe you stop it when it starts. Uh. So, now that this is the last thing I forgot about, I'm not going to touch my face anymore because I couldn't clean it. Because in that bag is the rest of these pearls. So, oh, one of the these bag bags... Break open? You know, I don't know that it broke open or that it's got... I don't really know. All I know is when I went to go take them out... Oh, mm. look, it's not sealed properly at the top. Oh, yeah. You see that? They did a poor job of sealing that little bag. But the be the beads started pouring out into the bag, so I'm gonna put them back. What it basically was is 99 cent, 98 cent pearls is what they're calling it, and I don't can't see the millimeters because I don't have my glasses on. But I'll hold them real close up to the camera for you so that you can see the millimeters. Hopefully, hide my face. Is it focusing? It's focusing. Um, so I picked up the two different sizes, Focus. and like I said, this bag has Focus. and the floor. This bag and the floor has all of the little beads in it. Is it this bag? Yep, there they are. So, as long as you yeah, I have to take care of that still. And then I did pick up another liquid stitch, but it was kind of an accident. This is the one that I was supposed to get that actually costs a dollar, but I'm kind of glad I got it so I could show you guys. This is a liquid stitch mini. It's a half of a fluid ounce. And this one's really good to keep in, if you're like in your purse or your emergency kit, because you never know, like I said, especially you know what these are good for? It's gonna sound stupid. But when Eden was getting married, I made her like an emergency bride kit for her shower. It just had like crazy glue, bobby pins, safety pins, like all the emergency. Did you ever see the wedding planner? So she had like this little zipper pouch that held these emergency things in it. I sort of did that, but this would be really good for that situation because you know, maybe the thing comes off your veil, your veil comes off the crown on your way as you're putting it in and your hairstylist accidentally pulls on it or whatever. I don't know. I'm just coming up with scenarios. You don't really have time to always plug in your hot glue gun. So that's it. So that's everything. I'm not going to touch you anymore because I have a wash up. But that's everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this all. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family, anybody who might be interested in seeing what we got at Walmart Grocery Pickup. And don't forget, there's a code in the description box down below. For the first time that you use Walmart, you can save $10 off your first $50 order or more. Um, and when you use the code, then I'll get $10 off. So if you, but remember, if you have a friend or family who already used Walmart Grocery Pickup, absolutely 100% give them the discount. I am not, there's no shame in my game there. But when you do, I just want to thank you because it really does help my family get the little extras that we don't, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to get. So, okay. Anything else for you? You sure? <laughs> no. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Stick around for the blooper reel. It's probably going to be a good one. <laughs> I am a blooper.